Now that we have power back, welcome back to some more Stormworks. I am Stormrunner Gaming, and today we are finally back with some more Stormworks here. I want to make a quick apology here because I wasn't able to get a video out all this week, and it was just because uh, poor timing on my part, and the semester was ending for college here. So I was getting some things done, and some other just random events happened to where I just couldn't find a window of time to get a video out for you guys. But anyways, I am back here today with this amazing aeronautical airship Mach 2 and I do want to have a quick note here the creator uh, Gavin Boyd here said that there is going to be a future and better version coming out apparently the Mach 3 so we should wait out for that one but this one has climbed to the top of the workshop charts pretty fast I'm surprised that it's made it here ever so quickly i didn't see it the past couple days but it popped up the other day and i was really interested to just play around with it but i really don't know what i'm doing here other than i guess flying this huge thing and i'm wondering if i can actually land a plane on this myself and this thing you can't actually spawn it in over at the hangar you do have to spawn it in at the dock here and it does have this huge floating platform here so it won't sink in the water which is a really good thing but nonetheless let's try to get it off the ground here let's give it some key ignition here and from what i have taken away from it i believe it is jet powered if we give it a little bit of jet throttle, I'm not going to unlock the docking magnets until we have a decent bit of RPS on our engines here. Because it is a huge thing. I I really don't know if it can actually just lift up. We're almost lifting up that entire platform there. I wonder if you could. Just push it full throttle. Can we get it up into the air? Uh, we have a little bit of a problem here, I guess. Just lower that down a pinch. There we go. And then we are going to disconnect them. And up we go. Oh, we have controls for it. What am I doing? So W is bringing us up. I'm assuming yep, S will bring us back down. I'm wondering what's allowing control for that. Oh, it's got a little bit of a tilt to it. Um, a lot of tilt, apparently. Forwards? Um, do we have controls? Yes, we do have controls. Up, down, pitch, yaw. Okay, so it almost works kind of like a quadcopter or a plane itself, where we have all those controls to keep us there. I know we also do have a lot of spotlight controls over here, and forward and backward control. Do we want it to go yeah it works perfectly fine it looks like those helicopter blades on the back end are what is propelling us forward pretty quickly actually do we have a speedometer on here time hold on let me just jump on top of the control panel wind speed I'm not seeing oh, there's other control things around here as well I'm not exactly sure what these do they're probably more decorational than anything else but, um, yeah, the creator of this did say it is a work in progress or things like this where this ladder doesn't go anywhere. It's somewhat to be expected. I mean, I've done some work in progress things myself where it takes a little while to finish different projects. So what else do we want to do with this thing? It does have a heater as well. And I'm this little design here is actually pretty cool with the locking magnets and everything. I don't think it does much anything much of anything except I guess just release us from that thing over there but what I really want to try here I don't know if it's possible by any standards but getting into a plane and trying to land on top of this thing and if you haven't seen any of my other plane episodes that's going to be ridiculously stupid because most of my other plane episodes I think most of them ended up with me in the Stormworks Hospital in critical condition and the plane in about 30 parts or at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, so I'm not too confident in my ability to land here. But nonetheless, I do want to try it because we have that huge, well, I guess, runway on the top end here. 
I don't know how to drive, apparently. Can we turn the other way, please? Oh. I don't know what I've done, but I've messed it up somehow. Oh, if we crash this thing. Okay, let's not crash. I just want to go forwards. I think it should just float here if we don't do anything. I mean, it looks like it's just suspended here. So I'm going to go grab a plane real quick, and I'll be right back with that. Oh, that was great. There we go. We're up in the air. Now we just have to find that blimp in the air. And man, a full assault against it. I don't think we want a full assault, though. Do I remember how to fly planes? No, apparently not. Because this is all sorts of out of control. Um, can we get it level here? Maybe once I remember how to fly a plane, we can actually try this thing out. Barrel! There we go. Now it is somewhat stable. Let's find that aircraft over there. Alright, so we put a marker over by it. I'm not seeing it yet, though. It should be somewhere pretty high in the air, I'm thinking. Oh, we're loading vehicles. Where is he? Okay, we got some lag. Solid 20 FPS. Um, hello? Did the thing sink already or something? No, it couldn't have. Oh, there it is. That looks really cool, actually. I'm going really fast, though. Is there, like, a hover button on here? Maybe we should have started with a helicopter instead of this thing. Oh, there's no engine power. There's all the engine power. Have I ever said I'm not great at flying planes? Well, building planes isn't my strong suit either. I, I much prefer something on the ground with wheels and suspension. Maybe a little bit of off-roading, but... Come on, let's see if we can get it done here. I need an experienced plane driver. I don't think this is going to go very well. We seem to be dropping down a lot more. Oh, there's engine power again. I wonder if I could do like a uh, barrel roll around it. I need a better stunt plane though than just a crop duster here. It's ending one way or another with me on top of it or me crashing through this thing. Oh, I think it's the latter. <laughs> that was close. A little bit too close for comfort. Yeah, I'm just showing off. I totally have control of the plane. Totally not just spinning out of control here. I don't know what's happening with it anymore, honestly. We're kind of just... Let's uh, lose engine power. Turn around. Give it a little bit of engine power. Okay, that thing is still... That thing is impressively staying up there, though. Okay. Nice and gentle. Nice and gentle. Our brakes should be engaged. Um, um, um. Pull up, pull up, down, down, down. Nope, nope, this isn't gonna go well. Oh, we hit it! <laughs> um. Oops. You know what? Plan B. Give me some engine power. A lot more engine power, please. Let's just gain a little bit of altitude here, a little bit more, then we're going to say hello to our friend the parachute. That's not a parachute. Um, I've not thought this through, have I? Can I get out? I can get out. Um, looks like I'm a little bit too far away, especially with only having thermal gear on here. This was a mistake. Alright, when all else fails, I can still probably fly a helicopter. There we go. Oh, this is much easier. I don't like planes anymore. See, helicopters, it's not as bad when you're completely out of control. Because it's not easy to completely get them out of control. You're kind of just hovering there pretty peacefully. And I mean, this one can't even sink. So, I mean, I'm safe from that. I'm safe from losing most control. I wonder if it's got... Probably doesn't have an autopilot, but nonetheless, 
how bad can it be to land this thing up there? I kind of just want to regain control of that thing up there. I just uh, left it up there. I really don't know how much fuel it has though. It could drop out of the sky any second here. As I'm coming up to it, it feels like I'm not moving anywhere, but it's actually just falling out of the sky. But I think it's staying in the same position. If not, I'm in a lot more trouble. And the blimp over there costs like $2.4 billion. It's a prototype. Okay. Easy landing. Easy landing. Easy. Easy. I'm in really interested to see how this thing copes with something landing on the top part of it here. Because definitely when you have any sort of flying vehicle... Oh, I don't want to go negative. Okay, we've landed. I think it's on here. Why do I always get stuck in doorways like that? Yeah, that engine... Why is that propeller still moving? Um, Houston, we have a problem. Oh, I don't want to get close to those blades, though. I say I don't want to get close to those blades, and I almost run right into another blade. Alright, so let's see if we can regain control here. So we've got the inside here. And the throttle lever. What does this do? Because it doesn't look like we have much of any entrance into the other part of the view. Have I just trapped myself in here? So let's see what that throttle lever does. This might be a big mistake. What have I done here? Alright, go into camera mode. I've done absolutely nothing. It hasn't sunk in it. Well, I guess you can't sink a blimp though, can you? I have been quite stupid though, trapping myself within this container, I guess. I really don't know. It doesn't seem to be any exits around. There are a lot of fans in here though. What the? I didn't even realize there was this part of the vessel. Hmm. Like an elevator or something in here? That's actually kind of cool. So that's why it's not done yet. There's some crazy cool stuff they need to, or I guess the creator needs to finish in here. And so hence why it is just a test version here. And that goes up into here. Hmm. Alright. So yeah, that has been our aeronautical airship Mach 2. It looks like I still can't fly a plane to save my life and actually um, if I fly a plane, it usually ends in some bad events happening time and time again where I have to get a new avatar. Anyway, that is where I will be ending this episode here. So, of course, if you guys did like this, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to stay up with Stormworks and more of my content. But I've never been great. Goodbye. So, if you need me, and I need to go.